All right, we are starting off where we left off yesterday by testing the new uh, yeah, release that DJI put out for the DJI Mini 3. This was a, this was a major release introducing a focus track in portrait mode and also in quick shots and all sorts of exciting stuff. But I had a ton of problems with the remote controller freezing up. So I've done several things before I wanted to repeat this test. First of all, I've cleared the storage on the SD card, so that was not an issue. I factory reset the controller, so that's also not an issue. And there was another update available from DJI yesterday with the exact same release notes. So I would assume that they have fixed some of the issues that I saw there that could have led into some really serious problems with the interface freezing up. But we're going to repeat the same test here today to see if it actually fixed it. So let's get a screen record on here. And just for verification here, let's just jump in here. And I'll show you that the SD card has been formatted here. Also, you can see the aircraft firmware is 01000201, which was the latest one that was released yesterday. The app is 168, so everything should be ready for testing. Do not show again here. So now we have an airborne. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are automatically disabled. I guess they learned a lesson or two there. So let's start by swipping it into quick shot mode here. And uh, it instantly recognizes me here. And we do want to do circle here and then we're going to pick me. And obstacle avoidance, da da da. So now it starts circling. And I'm gonna walk here, and hopefully it will follow me. At least that was the point. So at least it was doing some sort of tracking. And yesterday we talked about that there was no dedicated button to switch it into, when you're inside quick shots, to switch it into portrait mode. They added that, so that's really super nice. So now we are in here again. Let's repeat the test. Let's go the other way around this time. Two, one. But so far we didn't have any problems yesterday with this part. It was behaving uh, basically like it should. So we'll make sure that it doesn't collide with anything. So let's uh, leave uh, quick shots. You could always argue if it it performs the tracking uh, during quick shots like uh, you want it to, but uh, at least it's doing something. All right, so let's switch into the, what actually gave us problems yesterday. When we started to see issues was uh, when using active track. So let's jump out of uh, quick shots here and into video. And then we start the video here. Then I draw a box around me here. Skip this close like this. And then we start by testing out Spotlight, like we did yesterday. And you know, Spotlight is such a nice feature because you can actually use it. You can just fly the drone around. And what it does there, then it basically corrects itself. So it points towards you all the time. So it, it's not only about letting the drone hang in the air and then let it follow you. You can actually let it fly around while it is following you. But that also worked pretty well yesterday. So let's try and switch it into active track, trace. And bring it a little bit further along here. So, this is where I started to see problems when I was walking around here. Where the frame rate was suddenly dropping. and sort of the controller froze up. But so far, I can go in here. It's still tracking me very nicely. That lost me. Okay, but also,
So, stop. But that's fair enough, because it <laughs> kind of disappeared behind uh, this, this machinery. Then let's switch it into parallel. So. Go away, do not show again. I should probably have selected that. <laughs> parallel. Yes. And there, of course, there's no obstacle avoidance on the side of this drone. So if there's something on the path, it will collide. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those white legs, I will do something about that shortly. <laughs> Get a tan. When I go to the golf course, it's sometimes mistaken for out of bounds poles, if you know what I mean. So, that also worked like it was supposed to. And I see no lags today, no lags at all. So now we switch it into a point of interest. Again, it's a little bit like the quick shots, it's just extended, so it will continue forever. Ah, maybe not forever. <laughs> it will continue until I stop it. So now I increase the altitude a little bit here. So it will just circle around me now. Just give it a little bit of a challenge here. And it will do that as long as it is tracking you. So, machinery. So that also seemed to work like it's supposed to. So, my testing so far have showed no uh, yeah, signs of lagging like I saw yesterday. But I do want to mention one thing, that it was significantly hotter yesterday. Maybe it was the temperature was up by 10 degrees Celsius compared to now. So maybe that has some influence as well. The problem with these kinds of tests is that if you're changing too many parameters at once, which I did here, just to make sure that the, yeah, to get the message out to you guys if it works or not, is to sort of figure out which of the components did the trick. But just to summarize uh, what I did is that uh, I made sure to update to the latest version of uh, the firmware that was released yesterday. The 01000201. I also did a factory reset of the controller and I made sure to clear the storage both on the SD card and the internal storage of the controller. And by doing that, I did not see any problems performing identical tests to what I did yesterday. So, I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you around.